everybody welcome back to my youtube channel data analysis with dr veronica in this video we will see how to use the excel analyze data functionality while we are at it if this is the first time you're stopping by my youtube channel welcome please subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section let me know what, how you feel about this video if you are a returning subscriber Thank you for coming back and welcome. In this video, we will see where to find the analyze data functionality in Excel. We will see how to use the analyze data functionality to optimize data analysis. We will see how to use analyze data to generate charts. And we will talk about some conditions you need to know when using analyzed data. We have a set of data from an electric cooker sales database. It's a fictional data, by the way. And this is the data we will use for this tutorial. Just because I know that it is very important to practice Microsoft Excel as you learn, the practice file that you're seeing on your screen right now, you can download it from a link in the description box below. So when you open the description box, you will see the link to the practice file download so that you can practice as you watch this video. AI, which is artificial intelligence, have been incorporated into Microsoft Excel in different ways. And the reason for this is to make the use of Excel way easier. And it's even more important because millions of people around the world use Microsoft Excel to analyze data or visualization of data and also to manipulate data. First of all, where do we see analyze data? Analyze data is seen just right here in the home tab. You open the home tab and you come right here and you see analyze data. And of course, the short text that is written says discover more about your data. So analyze data helps you look for patterns in your data and then you you can use this pattern to create intelligent and personalized suggestions. So I'm just going to click on this. You might need to give it some time to sort all your data. You can also see that the analyze data functionality has selected all my data sets automatically. So let me just run a random check. I have about 9,651 rows of data. So analyze data has selected all of this. And the analysis that will be done by analyzed data is based on all the data sets that has been selected. Right here, you can ask a question about your data and this functionality will help you give you the analysis based on the questions that you have asked. So the first question I'm going to type in is that I need to determine the total sales by the sales method. And we can see that Column I is talking about total sales. And then we have column L, which is also the sales method. So I'm just going to type it in this box that says, ask a question about your data. Total sales by sales method. And I hit the enter button on my keyboard and the data is populating. So this is what I have right here. The total sales has populated for me by the sales method. And if this is what I want, I can click on insert pivot chart. And this is what I have here really nicely done. We can also see the pivot table right here, sales method. And then we have the sum of total sales. I can of course edit this heading to just leave it at total sales. I can edit the chart title as well. To say total sales by sales method, I'm going to remove all the quotation marks just like this. And I have my chart nicely done for me. And we can see that it created a new sheet for us and it named the sheet suggestion one. And of course, you can also update the pivot chart or the pivot table you have by selecting other fields and taking it to either the axis or the values or the legend or the filters as you may deem fit. So I'll go back to sheet one, which is where the source data is. And I want to ask another question. The second question I want to ask is, what is the average sales by the sales method? The first question was the total sales by the sales method. And now I am looking for the average sales by the sales method. This has also been populated for me. I will just click on insert pivot chart and a new sheet is automatically created for me with my pivot charts inserted in the new sheet. 
as well as the pivot table. Now, I can of course edit here to say average sales. And here you can also correct the chat title to say average sales by sales method. Average sales by sales method. I go back to sheet one that has my source data. The next question I would like to ask is, I need to see the retailer with the highest unit sold so that we know the retailer to focus on in the next trading season. So by the retailer, the top retailer by unit sold is everything kitchen. And this is the total sum of units sold. So for the next sales season, I may want to focus more on everything kitchen because they are the retailers with the highest unit sold according to the data that I have in front of me. The next question I would like to ask is the sales method with the highest total sales. The sales method with the highest total sales, for this one, I have just one sales method, which is in-store. And this is the sum of total sales for in-store sales. And I can also ask to get total sales insights. Just generally, I want to see what this AI will generate for me. So I have put in total sales insights and this is the data that I have. I'm going to click on insert pivot chart and this is what I have. And you can see that we even have an additional filter right here. So you can filter as per the product. So right now, this insight that has been given for me is for this specific product called large. And we have three product types. We have large, we have the medium, and then we have small. For the particular product type, which is large, this is the sales insight. And what we can see here is the sales, the total sales according to the dates. And this AI has also spotted out for us some outliers. Outliers are figures that are significantly different from the average figures in your particular data set. It has also spotted out for me some outliers and I can see this and of course I can continue to make interpretations to this data as I would deem fit. So we go back to sheet one and when I remove, I clear the question, you can see also that there are some suggested questions. Top three region by total, total sales. Show total units sold by invoice date as a line, right? So I will just click this suggestion that has been brought to me by this AI. And this is the beautiful insight that I have. I can, of course, remove this question and there are other insights as well insights for units sold. It goes further to even say that units sold shows a repeating pattern. So it might interest me to look further into the type of repeating pattern that it shows for me. I can also scroll downwards to see more data insights that I have for this particular data set. This is super wonderful. So we will quickly move on to the next example, which is also data set. So I will just close this. The next example is also another kind of data set. And in this type of data set, we have the month, we have the business unit, we have sales and budget, we have the currency, we also have a department, and then we have a budget line. So this data arrangement or this data set is slightly different from the previous example that we did, but we will see how to apply the analyzed data AI to this particular data to give us some useful data insights. So I will just click here, analyze data, which is on the home tab. Just by clicking on this, these are the automatic data insights that have been provided automatically by Microsoft Excel. There are also some suggested questions and it says discover insight. I would like to scroll downwards to see the insights that have been generated. Of course, you can come here to click on show all 28 results to see more data insights results that have been generated by this AI called Analyze Data based on the data set that we have. Here we can see that the budget increases over time, which is very useful for us to note. And here by department, it says agriculture accounts for the majority of sales. As per business unit, Ranching has noticeably higher budget than other forms of business units. This is the frequency of the budget. And it says as per the budget line, this particular budget line has noticeably higher sales. This is really 
wonderful. And the next one says budget line. This budget line that also has a noticeably higher sales has a noticeably higher budget. So that is very logical to think about. For the business unit, it says that ranching, for the ranching business unit, sales decreases over time. This is something that the management or the sales department may want to look into. Now, if you're not satisfied with these insights that have been automatically provided for you by Microsoft Excel, of course, you can go ahead to ask specific questions in this question bar. And one of the questions I would like to ask is budget line. So I need to get the budget line and sales per month. And this is what I have. So per month, I have this and I click on insert pivot table. So it gives me the total sales per month per budget line. And we can see here, June, 2021, July, 2021, and August, 2021. I go back to the data set that I have and I will ask another question. The question I would like to ask again is, I need the budget line and the total budget. And I press the enter button on my keyboard. So it says here, insert a pivot table. I click on this and this is what I have. Here I have the sum of the budget as per the budget lines. I go to the next, to the data set to ask another question. The next question I would like to ask is, I need the budget line and the total budget and the total sales. I hit the enter button on my keyboard and this is what I have. This specifically appeals to me because the end goal that I have is to calculate, is to get the percentage of the budget versus the sales. Okay. And I am clicking right here on insert pivot table. I have this pivot table done nicely for me. For the budget line, I can see the sum of budget. I can see the sum of sales as per the budget line. If I want to do a basic budget versus actual analysis from this data that I have, this is easy peasy for me. So what I would do is I will copy both the budget and the sales and paste those values over here. I will format this by adding the comma and here I'm just going to write total budget and here I will write total sales. And here I will put the column header as budget versus actual. So how to do the budget versus actual is the total sales is the actual. I want to know how many percent of the budget has been spent so far. So I just do the total sales over the total budget and I format this to give me a percentage and I just drag this down. So for each of the budget lines, as we can see very clearly, we can see how many percent of the budget have been spent so far. In this particular case, we have spent 100% of the budget. And this is the same case as this as well. This is very important for people who do this kind of analysis, analyzing actual sales or actual expenditure as against the budgeted expenditure. At the beginning of this video, we also mentioned that we will talk about the conditionalities that has to be considered when you want to use the analyzed data. The first thing is that you need to have very good column headers because whenever you type a question, the analyzed data AI will use the keywords in your question and search for the column headers and automatically bring out the outcome for you. So you must have very good and concise column headers. Another condition is that you need to ask specific questions. You need to learn to ask specific questions because the analysis that will be populated for you will be based on the questions that you have asked. Someone might ask, is this dynamic? If I increase or increase the number of data that I have on this sheet, or even on the first example, are the pivot charts or pivot table going to change? Is my analyzed data going to be updated automatically? The advice that I will have for you is that it is always best to format your data set as table so that whenever you include new data, Excel will automatically recalculate everything because your, your table will automatically expand to accommodate the new data set that has been included and every other thing attached to that table will be formatted as well. We can just use a shortcut key 
to format this particular data set as a table by just doing control C. And here, my table has headers. So I will leave this box checked and I will click on OK. This has been formatted automatically as table. And as I add new data sets, all the operations attached to this table will be formatted and improved upon automatically. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know what you think about these awesome analyzed data functionality. Give me a thumbs up as well and share this video with your friends and your colleagues.